Have you guys ever heard me say, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to Life of Clears. Today we are doing an unboxing of some Funko Pop mail. Woo, 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 woo. Live here on Cletus Selden, Life of Cletus on Twitch.tv and YouTube. Yeah. Now, this box here is a special box. And they're all special boxes to me, but they're all sitting in front of me and I'm slowly unboxing them one at a time for you guys to rewatch this later on. Um, I don't know who this one is from, and I don't know how or why I purchased it, but it's 11 ounces from Layman Herald from Wildlife, California. It feels like a Funko Pop box, but you never know these days. You never know. Let's get into it. We're probably going to unbox another one. Yeah. There's my face. All right. Let's crack this bad boy open. Now, again, I ordered, uh, I've been ordering stuff basically, oh wait. That's not my face. Again, I've been ordering stuff since I've been away at training camp, so yeah. New York... Excuse me. I'm sorry the entertainment's not up to your standards. I've been ordering stuff since New York Comic Con basically ended because I left the day after New York Comic Con for my uh, training camp. So I don't really know what's inside it. I think this is from RJ. That mother flocker got me. Yes. 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 If I can replay my face back, kind of like stop moving and I was just stuck like this. RJ watching? I don't know. So I don't really know what's inside it. Oh my God, you did. I think this is from RJ. That mother flocker got me. But I'm freaking pumped. This finishes off my set. This finishes off my fucking set. And I give it to RJ. I told me not to do this. You know, the kid works. And he goes to school. And he barely has any money. And he's sending me pops. That I don't have for my collection. To finish off my collection. I go for around $40. And a limited Funko Shop item. So I want to thank you first off. First hand. And this probably might get its own video. Maybe I'll share it with uh, Jason HQ. Oh. Bought it off eBay too. Some good quality cardboard there. Oh. Oh. I don't know why I gotta do the. Oh. But we're gonna go. Oh. This is a display piece for me too. Not going to storage. Just going right on the shelf. It's a flock customer. 3,500 pieces. My last one needed for my Looney Tunes collection. I don't know what it is, but I love my Looney Tunes pops. Maybe because uh, I used to go to the, I go to Six Flags as a kid and I try to steal all the damn toys. Because my parents won't let me buy any toys there, so we had to steal all stuff. And I always love going there. And I, I don't go on any of rides. I just watch the little things, but I love watching all the little Looney Tunes stuff. And growing up watching Looney Tunes on that free cable TV, which was nice. Flock Gossamer. Hell yeah. My whole humbleness had totally taken place. Yeah, 3,500 pieces. Sorry it's backwards. I got it so you guys can view it. Uh, not upside down. 3,500 pieces. Flock Gossamer. Well, then it looks like that. Right? Which is right side. Oh, that is correct, right? Yeah. Alright, 3,500 pieces. Flocked Gossamer. Sorry for uh, the other way I rendered that. Uh, I suck. Thank you for this part Punky in. She is a nurse. It's going to be cool. Up, so. Last one I needed for my collection. Mint box. RJ. I told him to pick something. After he told me, he said he was going to send this to me. I was kind of like, nah, man. You don't have to do that. Update your uh, stash P. I'm definitely going to pick out something for you. Around that value. Well, I sent him something from New York Comic Con. Because I have so much stuff from New York Comic Con. It's crazy. Uh, Funko came in for the win with that one. And... This is great. I'm so happy to have this in the collection. The last one needed. And I would say the next time Looney Tune Pops comes around, this one's going to be hard to find because it is 3,500 pieces and the price is kind of low now. It's going to go up there and it's going to be much harder to find. So if you are in search of these Looney Tunes, 3,500 pieces now. You guys are getting exclusives now that are 34,000 pieces. That Target exclusive, 34,000. And I heard that 5,000 or 6,000 of it, it was like 40,000. Um, they held like 6,000 to the side for a later date. So, yes, 
3500 piece gossamer thank you so much um robert uh rj subscribe to his channel check him out he does a little bit of everything like me he does pokemon stuff does funko stuff he does live streams does a good thing check him out and uh i'm gonna unbox one of the packages that i got from another good friend of mine uh jason hq himself in this video let's get to it hey he has ebay packaging he must have been buying pops Let's get to it. Oh, man. That's so nice of him. I know. I was crazy. You know how the kid works? Barely had any money at New York Comic Con. He's getting autographs of comic books. And he, and he uh, went out of his way and purchased this for me. So, I gotta go give him a good trade. It's something he wants on his list. Let's flock and open this bad boy up. Ooh. Yeah. This is a special item. This is a... Uh, there's actually a special item to it. One, it's from a cat, uh, a sports athlete that he was going to the game that I wanted to get because he lives in Seattle. Well, technically, right now, he moved, I think it's three to five minutes away from the HQ, and he works, he works two blocks away from his job from the HQ. So he usually is able to see the headquarters from his job. Now he moved two, uh, no, Three to five minutes away from the headquarters. Yes. And what do we got here? One's a gift. One's a one that I knew and one is a surprise. So let's start this off right now. Yes. I think this is a sticker. Look at that. Making fun. Make a fun sticker. And. Oh, that's cool. He gave me his ticket for the game. I'm putting that in the back of this for sure. That's awesome, making fun the movie. One of the best movies that uh, I've ever been in, for sure. And I know what this one is. And I knew he was going to send me another one, like Flocker. Starting out first, we have our Ken Griffey Jr. Limited Edition to the park game. I there was Ken three Griffey. of them. You like Ken Griffey? I love, I love Ken Griffey Jr. as well. As, maybe you said that little thing with his bat. You feel like this? I have a whole I gotta bring in the book. I have a you go like this. Card. He did, did with his bat. I have a whole folder. Boom! I was always a Craig Griffey Jr. fan, especially because of the video game. Box. Jesus Christ, calm down, girl. This is not your video. <laughs> uh, Craig Griffey Jr., Funko Pop. There was three of them. There was like a gold one. There was another exclusive one. And then there was this one. There might have been a silver one. I don't remember. But I'm glad to have this for my yeah. collection. Is the entertainment not well for you at all in these videos? <laughs> Ken Griffey Jr. Remember playing the game? You can always drop the home run. Sick pop. Thank you so much, Jason Grohoski. Definitely going on my collection. I love these uh I love these legend characters that they're making for uh, items. I know for the Funko shop for Black Friday, I will be purchasing uh, maybe about 20 to 30 Funko Pops off their website because they have a 20% off deal. And they have free shipping, just like I did last year for all my football pops. I'll probably do the same this year. So awesome. And we have one of the pop. And I knew this mother flock was going to get me this. Because he's been asking for it. And he's been telling me. And I knew it. I knew it. And I'm pretty pumped and excited to, to, to share with you guys. And it's the Popeye Specialty Series Pop. For some reason, when it comes to Specialty Series Funko Pops, I have been... Maybe just like you guys, let me know in the comment section. Is the most procrastinating Funko Pops that you could possibly ever pick up. I procrastinate on every single Specialty Series Pop besides Master Roshi one. Because I did pre-order that one. Every single time. Every single time. I always procrastinate. Uh, he sent me the Rose figure as well uh, in the past. And I never ever pull them. Like, um, who is it? Uh, Hudson from this... Uh, from this series, from the Gargoyles. You know, I just procrastinate it. I want it, but I'll see it, and I don't get it, and I don't want it, and then I'll see it, and I go, oh, man, I forget. But I'm glad I got the Popeye Pop. Uh, my brother was Popeye one year. He actually, uh, small story, my brother actually lost his eye one week after he graduated from Columbia University as a doctor, and uh, he dressed up the Popeye one year, so pretty Popeye. I do got the Popeye arms, and I do eat broccoli and not spinach, but it's pretty good. Thank you so much, you guys. You guys are awesome. I appreciate this mail. Actually, 
Let's throw F.M. McGinnis' mail in here, too. F.M. McGinnis sent me a package. Over here. This makes more sense. All right. So, in this video, we're going to continue doing unboxings. And our favorite and beloved and possibly, well, I'm going to say the most important YouTube channel to watch for your daily Funko uh, needs. His channel is the most important one because he gives you Funko news. So if you guys don't know who FM McGinnis is, you basically aren't even a collector. And I don't even know why you're even watching these channels. You gotta be boxing fans if you are. Anyways, check out his link as well in the description. He is the most important channel to watch because he gives us news. He does it consistently. And he does a great job. He's over almost to 20,000 or over 20,000 uh, subscribers now. Me, I tried the Funko News. That shit didn't work. At all. What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Cletus Selling Has No Life. When the first part one, we're going to go over the Funko Pops I picked up for the month. For the week. And then we're going to go over the Funko Pop News. I did name the stuff. What was this, the channel called? What was the news called? Because Funko does it now. Pissing me off. They use it as their, uh, I thought they stole it from me. Oh, the weekly Funko Roundup. That's what it was. The weekly Funko Roundup. In part one, we show you the Funko Pops that we picked up. And in part two, we talk about the Funko Pops that are coming out this week. Uh, or released. And they flocking did that to me. Flockers. Well packaging by our boy. And let's flock and pop this bad boy open. My boy FM hitting me up recently as well. Showing me the Django Fetch. <laughs> it's just getting released. And uh, what the hell is that? Django Fett Funko Pop on the rocket like Boba, but he's in like an angle. Django? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you guys watched my P2 Vision video, you would have seen that I seen one of these in store. And I said, nope, I can't pick it because possibly... My boy FM sent me this bad boy. We got the Obi-Wan Kenobi Walgreens exclusive with the hood. Number 273. How many of these guys do I own? And on the back you can see the, um, one of my favorite series because they have General Grievous. General Grievous is the guy that is my favorite character from the Star Wars universe you can say. Uh, and I mentioned him in the Funko movie documentary. Basically the best part in the whole movie was my scene no big deal <laughs> others will agree mint box mint pop bobblehead love it another uh i will say this last thing walgreens does the best exclusives when it comes to star wars fungal pops the best nobody does it better than star wars more uh walgreens the best of the best they get the best of the best as the best Bob's. Uh, and I picked up their um, the Spider-Man ones too. So, very happy to have this in my collection. Thank you so much, FM, for reaching out to me. And uh, I did send you a flock Bigfoot once and a t-shirt. And I think I made a send you some from other things. So, I definitely would really, 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 really like that Django fit. And that Anakin Skywalker. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Boom. That's going to be a long ass video. <laughs> Alright. Let's get back to the chat. My boys. This is a great unboxing. I like getting all these fungal pops. Oh wait. Oh wait. Oh wait. Oh wait. There's more. I didn't even realize this. And I'm very happy he sent me this. Because. When I send people items usually. Especially fungal pop items. I have always sent them a letter, you know, appreciation, sent them a little thing. I definitely didn't write it uh, and handwritten it. I definitely printed that bitch because I got chicken scratch, kung fu panda, uh, Jewish handwriting that looks like <laughs> shit. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. But let's check this bad boy out. Oh, this is awesome. Happy birthday. <laughs> this is even better. I love getting birthday presents. Oh, uh, Okay, let's see if this gets any better. <laughs> ah, it's alright. It's alright. Who is this from? 
Happy mother... <laughs> Who sent me this one? What box was this from? Whose box did I just grab this at him? Who sent me this? I don't even know. I'm thinking this is uh, Jason Grohoski. It's got to be Jason Grohoski. Jason Grohoski. To a kid who's uh, approaching Wookiee level of awesome. I don't know, man. Wookiee level's pretty old, you know what I'm saying, bro? Wookiee ain't pretty old. He's like a like 20 year old Wookiees, you know what I'm saying? Happy mother flocking birthday. Cletus, enjoy the pops. Jason Grohoski, 10, 17, 18. How you doing? Birthday's 9 11, but I appreciate it. You're the man. All right. That was nice. Thank you. What do you say? I said thank you!